It's not how heavy your Bible is, how close you sit to the front row in church, or whether you wear a cross or put a fish on your car. Jesus calls you to follow him, not to simply look up to him, but to truly be his disciple, to lose your life so that it can be saved for eternity. But how do we live a life that is truly surrendered to God? What does it look like? That's the question we'll examine with today's email. It reads, very simply, what does it mean to take up my cross daily? Well, oftentimes we'll hear people refer to this passage of Scripture and uh, say, well, what that means is uh, I have an illness or I have a bad marriage. I've got financial problems. I'm living in this dilemma. I'm carrying this heavy burden. I have this ongoing suffering in my life. And so they consider that a cross. That is not what Jesus meant. So if you look in chapter 9 of uh, Luke, verse 23, and he was saying to them all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Now, when you think about this whole issue of denying oneself, that's almost a foreign term to us because we don't think in terms of denying ourselves. We think in terms of denying ourselves of something. That is, I can't have this, I won't have that. We cease making self the object of one's life and actions. That's what Jesus is talking about here. God, not self, must be at the center of one's life. And notice what he said. He said, if anyone wishes to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. The way of the cross is a way of death. It is a way of self-denial. So when you talk about what's my cross and how am I going to handle this, we're not talking about things. We're not talking about hurts and pains. We're talking about a relationship. We're talking about a life that is so surrendered to Jesus Christ that He's the heart and the core and the center of our thinking, of our actions. Our relationship to Him determines everything about our Christian life. It is a deliberate, willful surrender of one's life, listen, every single day. Listen to what He said. Take up your cross daily and follow me. Here's what that means. If you'll think about the fact that you trust that Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, and you choose to follow him, to walk obediently before him, that isn't a decision you made once. You trusted him as your Savior once and for all in one decision. But following him, that is obeying him, that is a daily issue in your life and mine. When he speaks of following him, he's speaking of daily surrendering our life to him, that whatever life calls for in that day, we obey him, we walk in his way, we respond to the circumstances of our life based on our relationship to him. Now, it's interesting that a condemned criminal in those days was forced to carry one bar of the cross. Well, why? It was a one-way journey. They wouldn't be back. To live each day, not for ourselves, but for Christ, that's what this life's all about. It symbolized a life of daily discipleship, following the teachings of Jesus as a way of life. So when somebody says, well, what is your cross? My cross and your cross as believers is the same. That is, we choose daily to surrender our will, our ways, our emotions, and all that we are to the Lord Jesus Christ for that day, to follow him, whatever that requires of us. So that's not always painful. That's not always the worst thing that could happen. It becomes a way of life. But for a person who's just beginning the Christian life, and you talk about self-denial, I understand. You think, well, how can I deny myself of all these things? Remember what we said. It's not denial of self of things. It's putting Jesus at the center and the core and the heart of all your decisions and walking in that every single day. That's what taking up your cross is all about. Well, thank you for joining us for this broadcast of In Touch. And remember, obey God, leave all the consequences to Him. It's the only way to experience life at its very best.